Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for the love that you've shown in the previous uh, lab series video. I really appreciate that. Today, we are going to see a different topic, which is going to be moving mailbox databases in Microsoft uh, Exchange Server 2019. We're going to see how to move the log files and database to a desired location. So let's get started. Uh, have the understanding that you already installed your Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 and you are able to log in and get this beautiful dashboard. If you are having technical difficulties, please kindly comment in the comment section below and I'll be reaching out to you to see how we can fix this together. So let's go to the business of today. We are going to go to stats and launch our management shell. So once you have this, it's going to let you know that you are connected to, to this server. Most of the time I just CD to have everything and just do control. Uh, CLS, just to clear the screen a little bit, I might be expanding or zooming in this for you so that we'll be able to see. So, with that being said, we have to use what we have right now. When you install the Exchange Server 2019, it actually installs it in a location. So, how do we find that location or how do we even know? Uh, what is our, uh, the name of our database? So what we need to do is to do run some command, which is get mailbox database. Hmm. Okay, I make a mistake. Data <laughs> database. This command actually is going to show you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have some flu a little bit. So this command is actually going to show you your database name, the server name, if the recovery is true or false. But to be honest, this should, I mean, this should actually be the same information, but with different name when you first install your server. So yours is going to be different because I've been playing around with this. Yours should say something like mailboxes, database, and with some random numbers. So how do we find out? Let's do get the same mailbox and then we're going to pipe it out and we're going to select name and also we wanted to select path. So this is how we know where that data uh, database is located. So we can see that the database is always the EDB exchange database file path and it's located and it's located in the C drive. So we got to go to program file, Microsoft Exchange Server version 15. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. So we're going to put this. Sorry about that. Let me just minimize this really quick. So we are going to see, we're going to program file. We're going to go we're going to Microsoft. Then we're going to exchange server version 15. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest, mailboxes. And it's going to let you know that you don't have the permission, but that's not true. Then we click on enter and there we go. We have the mailbox right here. So yours is going to say this. If you look into this, the reason why I don't have anything here is because when I was doing my practice, I've actually moved the mailbox from this location. So now I move it to another location for test. That's why I have my mailbox server to be named this. But in your case, you will see something like this and you click on it and you'll be able to see your uh, database information. But what we wanted to do in this section is that we wanted to move this database to another location. So on my computer, well, on my server, I have this different disk. If you do, it's fine. If not, I think it, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be a different 
if you're actually doing it on a test server, you, all you have to do is just create a new path. Maybe you want to create it on C and call it maybe a database. As long as you know the path file, then you'll be able to move that database here. But in my case, I wanted to move it to a different um, disk. So let's continue. Now that we already know the path file, so what we wanted to do is that do you like this database name? No. So most of the time, admin always like to, to rename it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to rename this database. And what command are we going to use? We're going to use set mailbox database. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to paste it here. Let's copy it again. We're going to paste it in. And, okay, maybe you're wondering what, how I copied that. I just highlight it and press Enter. So that's how I copy it. And to paste it, I just have to click on the right click. And that actually pasted for me. So once we have that done, we're going to do... So whether we get okay, we're gonna set that and when we set it then we're gonna pipe in a name and we're going to put the desired name. For me, I want to put it in D database 01. So once you do that, you just click on enter. Let's see what is going on here. The operation couldn't perform. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, I just have to put like a double apostrophe, uh, so it's good work. Now, the change actually do that immediately. Let's do, let's let's take a look into it. Get me a box database. Now we can see that this is the previous database name. And now this is a new database name. But there's another thing that we wanted to do. Remember that here, we are actually checking the location. The name is now going to reflect immediately. And let's check. So all I have to do to avoid typing that again is just to push the, the up arrow button to get to the command that I've actually used in the past and check. Now we can see that the database name changed here but it does not change here. So what are we going to do? That is just because we have not been able to move that database name. So now let's go ahead and move the database to our desired location. So the command we are going to do here is move database path. Then we specify the identity of that path, which is going to be the new name that we already renamed our database. Then we say the EDB path file. So where is it going to be? So it's going to be this location, the E location. Then we're going to say, if it's going to be in the E location, what is the name? DB01. Then we're going to specify the, the same db01 dot e b. So that one is done right now. So where the log path is going to be, we're going to do the same for that one also. We'll make sure that we pep it out and then we specify that it's going to be in the e then in this case, db01. So that's actually everything we need to do right here. So once we did that, we're just going to do enter. So let me see what it, this one is doing. Now it's actually validating. It's telling us that, are you really sure you wanted to move this? Please do not do this in production. Uh, okay, I say yes. Now I say yes. 
And if you look at my e file, you can actually see that it actually moved that database here. All right, look at that. We have before we don't have anything here, but now we have something here. So now we have the database right here. So how do we check? Let's go back again to get the database. And now we see that the path, the name, the path, everything has been changed. So with that being said, that is all you have to do to move your database to a different location. If you are experiencing any difficulties, please kindly put that in the comment section below. And I will be very glad to assist you with that. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. If you do like it, please kind of like this video, subscribe and share with your friend. And I'll be right here if you have any question. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye for now.